guys this i'm going to show you on how to deploy java based lambda application to the aws so to deploy we'll be using a cloud formation template uh, so these are the some of the parameters which i am using uh, as an instruction to deploy our application to the aws so some of the important uh, parameters which uh, i'm providing are uh, the java application which actually uh, packaged as a zip file so we'll be providing that path and then we'll also be providing what actually the class file it has to refer in that zip file and then we'll be providing what is the runtime environment uh, the application has to run as and then we'll also be providing some other parameters like memory size timeout policies tracing etc uh, there are actually some other parameters you can actually refer it up as documentation for more details so we will be using all these details to deploy our application so as actually um, as an initial step we uh, we have this file and then we need to have actually um, s3 bucket in uh, aws to store uh, this cloud formation template file and as well as our application package file like our artifact so for that we'll have to create a, a bucket in s3 so we'll be as part of the first step we will be creating an s3 bucket in aws so as part of the sec uh, second step we will be providing some instructions on how we can actually package our application and then we'll be using a next step to deploy uh, the same application in aws as part of the package uh, we will be kind of uh, uploading our um, the uh, whatever the, uh, the will be ex before even executing package we'll be building our application by using one of the, the build tools it could be a maven or a gradle so after building the application it creates a necessary artifact or uh, jar file or zip file so we'll be using that file to upload to aws and also we'll be uploading this uh, the cloud formation template file as as well so once we uh, package the application then will be executing a deploy command aws cloud formation deploy command to actually deploy our application as lambda and uh, we'll be using our um, the artifact it means the jar file or zip file to run it as uh, lambda in aws so once we deploy our application we need we have some instructions here to invoke the lambda so in this case we'll be using aws invoke yeah, lambda invoke command so for this we need to know what function we are invoking and then what actually input parameters so in this case there are like many input parameters have provided as an example in this case um, so as actually for this shell script we will be providing uh, some uh, pay one of the payload actually uh, it could be related to cloudwatch say sns um, so there are actually uh, AWS guys provided these examples uh, so that we can actually play around with. Uh, so if you don't pass anything, one of the default um, input JSON file will be used. Uh, so if you would like to play around with this, you can actually play with all these options. So let's actually start with creating an AWS bucket. So. When, once I execute the first command, it actually creates an AWS bucket in, uh, in S3 actually. So let's execute the second command, which is actually deploy. As I mentioned earlier, it has two steps. One is actually the package and the second is deploy. As part of the package, the application code will be pushed and as well as the cloud formation template will be pushed to S3. And then as part of the deploy, um, the application will be run as a lambda in aws so like as i mentioned before even executing the package we'll be creating the package actually uh, by using one of the build tools so now uh, the application actually deployed and it is running as a lambda in aws let's try to invoke our application so i'm going to invoke the third lambda so it has, uh, if you notice uh, in the shell script, it has um, a while loop. It will be keep uh, invoking a lambda in a uh, loop uh, until we stop the invocation. So let's see in AWS console what's going on. 
I'm going to open uh, the function and then this is our function which is created. We have provided Java 8 and then uh, we have a handler function. We enabled actually the tracing. So uh, we can actually see some trace, uh, some tracing actually here in uh, um, X-ray. So you can actually do some, uh, you can see the traces and then you can do some analytics uh, as part of the X-ray. I'm going to actually make another video in explaining what and all is going to, uh, like how we can actually use S3, uh, sorry, X-ray uh, to see performance of our application and all the other stuffs. So, but now for, for this, as part of this video, we can actually, uh, we are seeing that there are some uh, requests are being made. Um, since actually we are executing, we are invoking this Lambda in a loop. That's where we see some spike here. It's actually constantly, it's keep invoke, this Lambda has been invoked. Uh, you can actually also uh, see the service map uh, where you can see like uh, the Lambda, which is actually as a kind of a, uh, it actually creates a view of our applications. You can uh, uh, enable the service icons. Uh, if you have some other like DynamoDB connection for this Lambda and all those things, uh, you can see all those uh, images being created here and see uh, the status as well. Like when it is actually green, it shows that it's a, all the calls are successful. If there is some failures and all, actually this, um, the color, green color code is actually will convert into orange or red based on like what's going on. Um, if you would like to quickly see like what's there as part of the uh, Java file, uh, it's going to be a single, a simple uh, um, uh, Java file with uh, uh, one uh, implementation. So this uh, request handler is being exposed by AWS. So we are implementing that interface and overriding an abstract method. So this, as I mentioned, this uh, interface is from Lambda at runtime. So once that, this this all we need to do uh, in order to create and run our application as a Lambda in AWS. So that's all actually have uh, as part of this video. Uh, in case if you would like to watch any of my future videos, uh, please subscribe to my subscribe to my channel.